hello friends my name is siddharth bhotra uh, i'm a fund manager with motilal oswal amc uh, uh, i have been with the fund for almost 7 and a half year now uh, uh, so a quick background on me uh, i i have uh, uh, you know spent close to around 10 years uh, on the sell side uh, with 9 years uh, in the motilal oswal institutional equities itself and uh, for the last 8 years i have been uh, on the motilal oswal amc so i have roughly around 20 years of experience in uh you know equity research and uh, uh, fund management uh, a quick background on our uh, uh, amc our amc uh, uh, you know the pms part of our amc is actually uh, we started in 2003 itself uh, while uh, uh, you know uh, the active fund management uh, was started uh, somewhere in 2013 and uh, as we speak today uh, uh, you know uh, the overall aum of uh, motilal oswal amc is close to around 40000 crore Uh, which is you know roughly uh, equal between uh, mutual fund and pms and alternatives and uh, uh, you know uh, the, the one of the uh, one of the reasons why our amc has been able to grow uh, the way it has in the last 5 6 years is uh, because you know it's a very uh, distinct and uh, differentiated uh, amc our entire uh, investing process is you know our entire investing is based on our Uh, a philosophy of QGLP and uh, buy right, sit tight, uh, uh, and uh, uh, you know we are one of the few houses which have a very stated uh, uh, investment philosophy, and all our funds uh, largely are run on that philosophy. Uh, so uh, you know, if I were to just quickly then uh, uh, you know talk about uh, Motila Roswal uh, uh, Focus Twenty Five Fund, you know, which I have been managing. So this was the a uh, first fund which was launched by our fund uh, as an active mutual fund and uh, 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 you know as i mentioned it's completed almost 7 and a half years now uh, 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 so this is a, a, a large cap fund and uh, uh, you know this is probably one of the most unique uh, uh, focus large cap fund because of uh, three four reasons uh, because uh, you know when you look at the uh, uh, you know most of the large cap peers that we have uh firstly uh, you know they would have anywhere from 40 to 60 uh, uh you know stocks in their portfolio as a, a general rule uh, whereas you know our uh, 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 you know entire holding is roughly around 22 24 uh, in that range most of the time so we are a very focused and uh, as well as a concentrated uh, uh, fund because if you look at most of the time our top 5 holdings account for almost like 40% Uh, whereas our top ten holdings would be close to around sixty seventy percent weight itself, and the second point being uh, the second point why it's one of the most unique fund is the fact that it's completely active and uh, benchmark agnostic. So uh, uh, you know, uh, for, uh, currently as we speak, our active ratio would be close to around fifty eight sixty percent, and uh, uh, most of the time uh, that you know we manage this fund, uh, our active ratio has been around this range. Uh, you know which when you compare to the industry uh, uh, you know it would be more like uh, uh, 25 30% so uh, you know almost 70% uh, 75% uh, uh, you know the industry is almost mimicking the index itself uh, the third point why this fund is very unique is uh, the fact that uh, you know this fund uh, the large this large cap fund lies in the focused large cap category so when you look at a pure large cap fund uh, you know as per the sebi uh, investment universe they can only invest uh, uh, around 20% away from the top 100 so top 100 has to account for at least or more than 80% uh, for them whereas in a focus large cap uh, the minimum requirement for uh, uh, you know in the top 100 is 65% and we have flexibility with almost like 35% of our Uh, uh you know fund and that gives us a huge uh, advantage and flexibility so i think these are the two three big advantage that the fund has the vision of the fund or you know the objective of the fund is to create long term wealth for investors and uh, 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 you know uh, uh, our uh, objective is that uh, uh, you know as as our philosophy is of uh, buy right sit tight so we typically look to buy uh, very high quality companies companies where Uh, you know there's a good, uh, long growth runway and uh, managed by some, by some of the best uh, uh, most dynamic uh, uh, you know management management with deep integrity uh, management uh, uh, you know how who know how to create deep moats and uh, pricing power so those are the kind of companies uh, where uh, you know we primarily uh, uh, remain invested 
and uh, 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 you know i think this fund would be an ideal for any investor who's looking to uh, you know have uh, uh, such uh, uh, stocks in their portfolio and uh, have a, a slightly longer term view of say at least 2 3 years uh, if not more and uh, uh, you know uh, is interested in creating a uh, long term wealth uh, uh, by remaining invested in uh, high quality uh, uh, stocks and uh, you know if i were to just give you a quick brief about the fund as to you know what is our positioning and holdings uh, so as we speak today uh, the uh, the motila rose fund focus 25 fund uh, we have almost like uh, uh, 43 44% in uh, bfsi now why we are unique versus others when we say bfsi is that in our case the insurance weight is very high so between say an hdfc life and icici lombard Uh, which is one life insurance and one general insurance we would have close to around 8 to 9% weight so uh, when we look at our uh, overall weightages of bfsi at say around 43 44% uh, uh, you know 8% in that is uh, uh, insurance companies uh, and uh, uh, you know other than that the chemicals and the pharma sector would be one of our largest holdings wherein we have uh, dr reddy we have abort Uh, we have a company called uh, you know which is more like a consumer pharma which is uh, procter and gamble health which was earlier merck and uh, we also have pi within the uh, uh, overall chemicals and agrochemical space uh, other than that uh, you know on the it we have tcs and infi which you know accounts for around 13 14% of our fund and then we have uh, many uh, 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 you know which we think are good proxies to Uh, the economy and discretionary play where we have say uh, avenue we have page uh, uh, you know uh, we also have some auto stocks like maruti aishar and uh, uh, we also have some pure economic proxies uh, in terms of uh, logistics companies like say uh, 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 you know concord mahindra logistics and uh, some very direct plays like say uh, 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 shri cement ultratech and also abb so i think uh, the f25 as such is very uniquely placed uh, uh, you know focusing both on being uh, conservative because bulk of the portfolio lies in uh, what we call uh, essential services and essential goods and uh, at the same time uh, has a right blend of aggregation also because we have a fair bit of weights in what we call economic proxies or uh, you know economic recovery plays so that would be uh, you know a quick uh, a brief on you know how our portfolio is positioned uh, now a little bit on our performance now it's been seven and a half years and uh, you know if you look at uh, uh, since inception on a direct fund basis uh, on a relative basis we would be in the top five funds uh, since inception or on a seven year and uh, you know you look at any of the long term time horizons whether uh, you know it is five year or you know one year ytd Uh, we would be in the top 10 uh, on a 3 year basis i think we are in the top 10 15 but uh, largely uh, in quartile one across all long term time frames uh, and uh, since inception uh, on a direct fund our uh, you know uh, the alpha is almost close to 3% so i think the fund has a fairly decent track record over a long period of time and uh, uh, so that kind of in a way uh, uh, you know kind of further uh, you know uh, uh, gives credence to the fact that uh, you know if you uh, uh, focus on investing in uh, quality uh, and uh, uh, you know if you have a buy and hold kind of a strategy uh, it typically plays out in the long run uh, uh, so you know with this i would just want to quickly summarize that you know f25 is one of the most unique fund uh, uh, you know some of the unique points are uh, uh, it's a very focused concentrated fund uh, it's uh, uh, you know purely uh, it's one of the few active and benchmark agnostic fund and it has a very unique uh, 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 investment universe uh, uh, so you know uh, th- those were the few quick points i wanted to make on f25 thanks so much for giving us time uh, and listening to uh, us over this video thank you mutual fund investments are subject to market risks read all scheme related documents carefully